Former president of Telemundo Entertainment, Nelly Galan, is an entrepreneur who's passionate about women's financial freedom. She says when it comes to startup funds, many women aren't aware of all the resources available to them. There is hidden money in America. There's all this money in the Small Business Administration, in the government, in the Department of Commerce, for loans to buy the building for your business, to start a business, to do commerce around the world. We don't apply for that money. Only 5% of us apply for that money. So she's designing an app that shows women how to source that money. It's based on her book, Self Made. I would say it's a business book. However, you can't get to business if you don't clean up the cobwebs in your mind, right? And so I would say half the book is inner work that you have to do to understand that you have limiting beliefs, that you aren't choosing yourself. Princess Jenkins, featured in the book, opened the first African-American department store in New York in the 90s. So when we talk about being self-made, I was from the Bronx. I had started a boutique in Brooklyn, and I came to Harlem, and I didn't see what I wanted to see. And I said, well, if it's not here, create it. Like, why can't we make it? Princess had success without a bank loan or venture capital, but many other women entrepreneurs need funding but struggle to secure it. Women entrepreneurs are so much more likely to start with their personal savings and start with significantly less money than men. Um, they're less likely to go to the bank to ask for a loan or less likely to get that loan. But that's starting to change. More women entrepreneurs here are getting the capital they need. They're starting businesses at twice the rate of their male counterparts and outperforming them. 2016 is the first year that U.S. businesswomen have tapped all the government money available to them. And while women still have more catching up to do, the latest research shows they're gaining momentum that could help many break through the funding glass ceiling. Mimi Chahiman, CCTV, New York.